we are back on the review show and uh, we are doing Terminator Zero. We've gone through episode one, two, and three. Right now, this is episode four. It's episode model 104. Uh, the description of the episode, as a desperate Aiko attempts to elude the police, Masaki's mysterious past comes into focus. Malcolm wrestles with the nature of fate. Hmm. Sounds fun. It's 27 minutes, about a minute or two shorter than the last episode. Yeah, that was a But I, I will say that these run times also include the credits. Mm. So they're more like 25 minutes a piece, these things. Yeah. I mean, they're doing better than Disney ever is. So um, it's, it's it's a really good animated series. I'm really digging what we're, what we're going through so far. So yeah, it's hard not um, to look ahead at these other thumbnails. I'm like, oh, what is this one? Like the finale thumbnail looks very interesting interesting so but yeah i'm really liking this so far um we're like we're at the halfway point the plot has started to thicken a little girl apparently knows what terminators are i'm curious yeah how... that that's blown me away episode three she's like was that a terminator she's like how did you know what that is and that's exactly how we felt when we heard the little kid say it so it's yeah. like the kid somehow knows there's a terminator you know what does that mean does that mean the kids were sent back in time they know what's going on or i think or... they I, I think they know about the first two films i think they know what happened I, I think this guy uh this professor i think he worked at cyberdyne and when he saw what was coming and heard all about the original two, two terminators or maybe what if he's in an he was in an insane asylum <laughs> and he talked to sarah connor and none of this is real and he's, and he's actually just dude insane. if none of this is real <laughs> at the end dude that's gonna be such a mind fuck i think but i would be mad i don't know if I, like no I think I no dude i would love that if this was just some crazy dude in a sane asylum that heard sarah connor talking oh my god that would be brilliant i you know i'm never real i never really am on netflix a lot i don't watch a lot of their stuff i watch Co the new part of car Witch kai it was so bad. Dude, we, 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 I just subscribed back to Netflix just to watch this series with you. That says a lot about Netflix. This is that CGI kind of like you, you said it's like a mix of CGI and animation. Yeah. Hey, those cars are not actually on the road. <laughs> that looked a little weird. What is up with you? You're killing cops here. Oh. Oh! Where's Bishop? Is he going to make an appearance? What's happening? Sir, units are in pursuit of a vehicle. They think the driver is one of the shooters. Hello, hello. How are you, Miss, uh... My name's Misaki. Okay. My name is Detective Fujino. This is Detective Shiraki. We're going to have another police scene? Yeah, it's going to be another police shootout. Ah, that's what they said in the first Terminator. We've got 40 police officers in here. There's They're no dead. place safer than you need to be. Oh, here he comes in the police motorcycle cop. Here he is. Ew, don't do that. That's gross. I don't like that. Stop it. She's going to have a flashback to the subway thing. The woman, she shot the man. And you're saying that she killed him. He isn't human. Are you telling me it was an Eno? Something worse. It was a sex robot. Well, that's one way to stop in a vehicle, I guess. Is that how they do it in Japan? They just throw a big metal in the road? I guess they do. She's really banged up, man. She's not She's not going to survive this thing unless they give her time to heal. I'm curious if she'll even make it towards the end of, the, of this. Like, to, like the final episode or anything like that. What is it? Have you finally found Mr. Lee? Or Rika? You're a robot. Uh, she's schizophrenic. She's like mentally deranged. All your information. What do you mean? What information? It's a standard procedure when someone comes in. But your files were a little unusual. We didn't find a goddamn anything. Whoa. You're not real. She's a Terminator. Oh, here we go. T-1000 in action. Uh-oh. Oh! Ah! 
Oh, dude, he killed everyone with fuck construction nails. You gotta start counting bullets. He's got six in each one before he has to reload. Yep, so he's out. See, like one hit to them, they're dead, but not like, you know, the kid. Right, right, yeah. Bye, Bishop 2.0. Bishop 2.0, that's exactly right. Oh, he's still alive. Not anymore. <laughs> he's going to no, step that, up. Oh. He, that's... Uh, 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 robot uh, no, arm. Robot, uh, he's going to... Uh, robot? Yeah, pull the skin off and it's a robot. I knew it. Dude, he's still alive. Come on, Bishop. Oh, that's it. Probably the ba most badass character in this whole entire thing. Bishop was Lance Henriksen's character in Aliens, which I love that you keep calling him Bishop. That's <laughs> great. Bishop 2.0. I just don't know his uh, character's name in Terminator. Whoever's calling me is going to get fired. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but a call just came in that I thought you'd want to take. Your daughter, she says she's in trouble. I can't help Riker now. She's going to have to do this on her. What? <laughs> You're a terrible dad. Jeez. What? I can't <laughs> help her right now. She's going to have to do this on her own. You can't even take a phone call. Is this what you wanted to show me? How you display humanity's potential for good by abandoning your daughter. <laughs> oh, she called him out. You asked me before if that man was a Terminator. Sometimes my dad talks in his sleep and Terminator is one of the words he screams. So one morning after a nightmare, I asked him what a Terminator was. He said that it's a cyborg and that in the future, they'll hunt people down and kill them. This dad's really traumatizing his own kids. Jesus. Yeah, he is. Everyone stay back. If anyone comes in here, I'll kill her. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think there's better threats to use than killing a kid. Um, <laughs> stay out of here, I'll kill the kid. Ow. This is why you should not use the uh, threat of, like, I'll kill her. I'll kill the kid. I swear to God. Dude, he's literally said nothing. I wonder, I wonder how much Timothy Oliphant got paid for the four lines. It's a question of fate. If such a thing truly exists, if everything is set on a predetermined path, or if that path can be turned, curved. Dude, all that for a keyboard? <laughs> like, come That's on. A lot for a keyboard. <laughs> All that for one button? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You could have had that on a wall. <laughs> well, now we're in the matrix. You can't how do you how do you stop those from they're already in the they're already heading down? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's gravity's gonna do its thing. Well, maybe oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um maybe like the bombs are already hit, but they can turn off Skynet and that'd be the end of it. Then there would be no future war. It'd just be a nuclear war. So technically World War Three. Um I, I mean, you know, I, I, I here we are. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I love the cliffhanger. You know I wasn't expecting to get to the that to Judgment Day this soon. I was expecting it a little bit more later on than um but so what i think is going to probably happen is um so the ai will talk to skynet it would probably not work out um skynet would be like ah screw you i don't, I don't know um i don't know i don't know or this could be a completely one off and like this is just a one of those timelines where skynet doesn't go into a future war that could be a situation, but I'm trying to connect this to all the other ones. So, and that's, yeah, that's and, my and issue. I, and that's the problem because like she even said it in this episode, like the Americans have already started on their end doing what they're doing and launching. And so this is a different story. We just have to let it play out. Yeah. It's, so. it's, it's continue. It's continuing the story, but it's also being its own thing. Unlike yeah. all the other Terminators. Stuff. I just want to know how the kids knew. I mean, it was explained that it was the nightmares. Yeah. But what I want to know is how, how did is he get guy, how does Malcolm get nightmares 
which is literally everything playing out. The only yeah. reason why Sarah Connor had nightmares was because, because she Kyle. was told yeah. by Kyle what was going to happen. This guy, how did this guy know all yeah. this stuff was going to happen? If, the, if that never gets answered, then that's going to be probably the biggest complaint of this show is like, how does this guy know about all this? And it ha he has to be connected to either Skynet itself or, or uh, like you said, he was in a Sam asylum with, yeah. <laughs> with Sarah Connor. It's so. either that or, or he literally like worked for Sky, like Cyberdyne systems. Yeah. Like he worked for them. You know, like, and then broke off and wanted to do his own thing when he saw how, well, how, what, where they were going with it. Yeah, and they didn't want to change course, but he was trying to stop it. So, yeah, yeah very interesting. All right there, yeah. you go. Yeah. I, I love this show. I think it's great. Yeah. Well, I guess I never asked you uh, your uh, your thought like numbers ratings of the other episodes. So, what would you give episode two? As episode, two, I mean, I I give all these about an eight. Okay. Not no, none of them have hit a ten and knocked it out of the park. But the creativity behind being in Japan and not being able to have weapons and and every like I really enjoy what's going on. The side story with the children, I it's a little know, I, iffy. Um, I it's... mean, it it needed something else. You know, it's kind of yeah. like um, uh, uh, it's like uh, the Kenobi series, if you will, where like you had to have another story going on along. Oh, no, you did the story. not. I mean, it, I mean, well, that's how the writers are thinking. It's like we can't yeah. just make it like about this Terminator and this person and this guy and this AI. We gotta have kids. We've gotta have this other motivation. But and I get it. I get it. Does it need it? I don't know. Yeah. We still have to let it play out. No, we still have to let it play out. But the kids feel very lacking right now. And literally, you could have probably, you know, this would have been a cool idea if like we don't know any, like it's not from. It, the past perspective it's all from the future's perspective and it's a girl goes in the past and we all and we follow through it through her perspective trying to get to the father that would have been interesting i think i and i still think that we need to kill a kid like there's got to be yeah. some sort of sacrifice like and and now we like what's the mystery behind the the one that got her arm ripped off yeah like, well, the like one that's the, and she has no history was she built by malcolm or from a forgotten he, timeline like in terminator genesis with um Sarah I, I, I think he built her as a protector maybe and that would be like the Sarah Connor Chronicles where they sent a female Terminator back to protect John in the series mm. you know um that to me feels like what this is like they've created something to protect the kids probably it's probably so. that um but yeah um let us know you guys' thoughts on the show down below anyway guys thank you very much for watching like always we'll see you guys next review bye guys